Hello and welcome to the garden. Well, it's a bit of a moody day once again, but it does look from the weather forecast as though the really cool temperatures we've experienced lately are on the way out. So things are warming up, um, not, not, not to great temperatures, but those cold nights are going. And there's one job I've been I've been waiting on till the conditions improve and that is to put in some onion sets and I've got a couple of bags here of sets. Yeah, I'm not that impressed with them. They are in a bit of a ropey state. They weren't good when they arrived and they're certainly not improving with age. Um, so very often I don't grow from sets in the in the spring. What what I what I usually do is put in some of the Japanese onions to overwinter something like senshu yellow and I plant them pretty close uh, they only need a couple of inches apart and then you can thin out every other one and you put a small patch of those sets in in the autumn and by now we'd be pulling some really quite hefty young onions obviously the bulbs would be only just starting to develop but they they make fantastic spring onions and then quite chunky spring onions and and then eventually you get you get some bulbs now my experience of them is that they very often bolt so I, it doesn't matter as long as you know that's going to happen to a large proportion of them and I, I don't care I mean they get a lot of cold weather through the winter and the natural response is to is to then run to seed it's no problem at all i use them for early onions and some of them will bulb up and, and haven't bolted they will keep for a while they never store as well as uh, the other sorts of onions but they're, they're good in the start of the season but most of the time we're using them just for fresh green onion and um, even when they've bolted it's no problem just pull the flower head off and uh, when you cut through you can see where the flower spike is you don't want to use that it's hard and unpleasant you go straight through the onion and pull that bit out the rest of the onion is fine so you get you get a, a really easy crop of early onions and that is dead handy but then usually in the spring I'm, I'm, I'm putting out uh, onions that I've sown from seed and I mean, there are two advantages to sowing from seed. The first is that the onions tend to bolt less. Um, and, the, and the other is, of course, that you've got a much wider range of varieties available. Sets, you've got whatever somebody can be bothered to produce. However, it's a bit silly to be at all snobbish about growing from seed or sets. There's absolutely nothing wrong with planting out some onion sets. It's a handy convenient way it's very quick no bother at all so I, I I'm not I, I don't have anything against using sets and I anybody who's watched my videos for a while you, you know I love old stuff and you might imagine that that uh, preparing onion sets is a is a bit modern for me but actually that you can find references to to that sort of thing going back quite a long way it's quite surprising just how long little sets have been produced um, but in any event it is dead convenient and if I can find a half decent variety which you often can then uh, I don't mind growing from sets not red onions from sets that in my experience they bolt far too readily I mean the red onions do tend to bolt more than than uh, some of the white brown onions but from sets they're not they're not great in my view um this is a lovely pink onion this is the rose de roscoff the um also known as what's the name of it yeah caravel pink this is a very nice onion i'm not sure these sets are very nice but basically i've got two tips for these and and if you think it's probably getting a bit late to be putting them in mm, maybe but only by about a week or so and it really is weather dependent so with the sets there are two ways to help reduce the amount that will 
bolt or run to seed. And the first is to pick over these and not plant the large ones. Or if you do plant the large ones, you don't want to waste the sets. Put them close together in a patch and take them when they're young green onions. Because the larger the set, the more likely it is to bolt. So if you're, if you're going through this, this bag and you might think, oh, that's a nice, that's a nice big one there. That, that'll be great. Much more likely to run to seed than the smaller ones. So that's the first thing is to sort of go over the sets and, and pick out the, the sort of modest sized ones, favour those rather than the big bruisers. Uh, the other one is not to plant them too early. And I mean, even here in the south, you don't want to put them out until towards the end of March. Uh, certainly, I think you want to wait until the till the clocks change. That's not a bad that's not a bad time. But you know, towards the end of March is okay. But the last couple of weeks have been a bit chilly, so I've just held back on it until now. It's we're we're in the beginning of April. It's not a problem. But if you plant them too early and then they they start growing, and then they get a cold spell. If they get a week or two of cold weather, that will encourage them to run to seed. So that's something we want to avoid. But if you if you plant them a little bit later and you take out the the big bruisers from the the pack, uh, I think there should be shouldn't be too much trouble with with bolting, especially if you avoid the the uh, the red onions that are pretty prone to it. I don't know about these. I've never grown these from sets. I've only ever grown these from seed. Uh, I need to go through this bag here and pick out the rubbish. And I think there's a fair old bit of it. Um, this came from one of the big name suppliers. I don't like to use them, to be honest. It, my experience is that a lot of what they sell is just rubbish. But anyway, I thought I'd get a couple of bags and put them in. As I say, it's a quick and easy job. So I'm just hiding in the greenhouse here because it's warm and I've got a bit of bench space to sort through them. But I will go, go out in a minute and I'm not going to show you how we're preparing the bed. It's You've seen me do it on lots of videos and taking out the weed. I don't think we're adding anything to these beds. I will, well, I'll probably put in a handful of fish blood and bone, rake it over, and then I'm ready to set these out. Right, let's have a look, see what sort of rubbish I've got in here. Oh, this. Well, I don't know, this is quite a mixed bag. I mean, these are obviously chunky fellas. I don't. And there's quite a lot of those big bulbs. Don't know about that, feels a little bit soft. Um, these are these are in awful condition to be honest. That is desiccated. Oh, said it's just junk really. I don't know about that. But these, these smaller sets, these are these are all right. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, a bit of a mixed bag, but uh, I mean they're not they're not good. That one's manky. That's horrible. That's horrible. Horrible. Um, what, mm, don't know. That doesn't feel good either. No, I'm not. I'm not impressed with these. That doesn't look good. I'm going to throw half of them away by the look of it. Um, oh, that's that's nasty. Oh, this one started on its own. Well, actually the bulb is firm enough. I can plant that. That'll be okay. That doesn't look great. Nah, that's rubbish. Um, rubbish. Soft. Right, 
too big. Um, well, I will definitely plant those, but I will take those early because they will quite likely bolt. These others there, I mean, these are nasty looking sets, to be honest. They're not good quality, but oh, there's, there's plenty there that I expect most of them will develop, but just decidedly unimpressed. And there's a huge range of size. I mean, that's just, that is just mad. Uh, I'm not, I'd much rather somebody sifted through these and graded them a little bit. I, this isn't any good to sell to anybody. That thing is going to... I'm sure that will run to seed. That... that no, well, that's not perfect either, but... Something like that would be good. That's not a bad size. When you get really small, they might be less likely to bolt, but they'll also produce... tend to produce smaller bulbs, so... Something like that is fine. Okay, that's not a great bag of onions, to be honest. And I, I've got one more bag thankfully otherwise this would be a very quick job but this bag doesn't look any better big fellas again i mean i'm not i'm not going to waste them but i'm going to assume that they will bolt so i'll put them in in one particular place, it's just, I don't know, it's not nice. Right. Well, as you can see, the quality of those is a bit poor, at least I think so. If you get onion sets from a good supplier I, I don't know I maybe throw one or two away no more than that and then you don't you tend to get a, a more evenly sized set so that you, you're not having to filter out all the big ones and and the, the little scrappy things so these are very variable and uh, yeah you want you want good firm sets, none of this soft, manky looking junk. But I mean that shouldn't that shouldn't be in there. And the sort of places I do buy sets from, usually they're pretty good quality. These these are not, unfortunately. But nothing I can do about that. I'm still going to plant what looks half decent, and I'm sure we'll get a crop out of them. But anyway. Time to finish the weeding and do a bit of bed prep and then I will set these out. Uh, this job could hardly be easier. I've got my trusty plank here as usual. On this side it's marked at four and a quarter inches. I mean for these sets four inches is plenty. Um, it's four and a quarter because that fits nicely across the bed here. Uh, yeah, it's a simple job going through these, just setting them in the ground so the tip is just above the soil level. Now, if I hadn't just raked this and this was a solid surface, I would make just a little hole with a dibber or, or something, not just force them in because you don't want to damage the plate there where the roots are going to develop. So this soil up now is quite loose there and I always have my fingers around the side and with those I make make a bit of a hole just being careful not to damage the base of the onion I mean this couldn't be simpler that's why it's quite nice sometimes to, to use the sets. You can fill a large bed in no time at all. Very little effort. You don't have to faff around with trays of onion seedlings. Anyway, I'll get this bed filled and that's basically it. The only thing is, 
you have to look out for sometimes when these start to put their roots out they will the roots won't just go down that they will push themselves out of the soil and you have to reset them occasionally and you want to cover them until they've got their roots down just because the pesky blackbirds in particular will come along and give a little tug on the green shoot and uproot the lot in a very short period of time and that we don't want. And that's really the beauty of onion sets and why I don't mind using them from time to time. Sure, if you've got the time to start them from seed and, and you're looking for particular varieties, sowing early in the year, either, either early in January or, or sometimes even late December is not bad to start off your onion seeds. But if you don't want to faff with that, the onion sets, if you can get a decent variety well worth trying and I don't mind I don't mind them but it is important not to set them out too early because if you do they're very likely to bolt anyway that's it for this video I'm just gonna carry on plant up this bed so thanks ever so much for watching and bye for now <laughs>